Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Metamorphosis, written by Franz Kafka. Now, before I go into the summary and analysis of this novel, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. In this novel, we meet the Samsa family, and the Samsa family, they, they're in, in a lot of debt, and they basically um, depend on one member of the family. It's the son by the name of Gregor. Gregor works really hard. He's a traveling salesman and he uses a lot of his money to pay for the family's expenses. He pays for all of the bills. He pays for the food. He pays for all the um, amusement. Everything that the family has and owns, Gregor pays for all of it. And his mother and father pretty much take advantage of him. His sister pretty much take advantage of him. His family really become this kind of like parasite on Gregor's back. And he has to work extremely hard. He's getting pushed around by his boss. He's getting pushed around by his parents, by his sister to make money and to just keep his head down and just continually um, push money out and make money and just support them no matter what. Now, Gregor's father, we don't get a name for him and he... he the only thing that we basically learn about him is that he had a business and the business fell into debt. He lost the business and pretty much Gregor is the only working member of the family. And so Gregor le leads this miserable life where he constantly has to work, constantly has to provide. He doesn't get a sick day off. He doesn't get a day, day off. He's just working extremely hard. His boss is just pushing him um, around day and night and he just never gets a break. So Gregor leaves a very miserable life. <clears throat> Gregor just leaves, leads a very miserable life that he just can't, you know, he can't do anything to escape it. What happens in the story that's very significant, that really changed the story, is that Gregor turns into a cockroach. Now, it's not like there's a wizard or a witch in the story or some sort of um, science experiment. It's just one morning he wakes up and he's a, he's a cockroach. Um, some philosophers have said that they don't, you know, maybe he didn't, didn't turn into a cockroach at all. Maybe he just quit his job and just decided to stay home and never work again. But in, in the novel, what we are given is just this man went to sleep one night. He woke up the next day. He didn't take like an elixir or anything like that. He just went to sleep and then woke up as a cockroach. And, um, basically when he wakes up in the morning, it's a very detailed scene that we get in the novel where he's trying to learn how to use his body He's trying to turn, he's trying to maneuver his body, and it's very foreign to him, it's very weird to him, and he has legs that he doesn't know what to do with. He just, as a cockroach, he just doesn't know how to function, and so when his parents see him, when his mom sees him, they all freak out, they all are trying to figure out how did this happen, but there's no answers. I mean, there's no doctor you can call for your son that was a human and turned into a cockroach. There's no like fairy or some genie that just does this. It's just, it's like these individuals are normal people. And then one, one night their son goes to sleep, the hardest worker of the family, he goes to sleep and he wakes up in the morning. He, he's a cockroach. And so they have to deal with this. Eventually Greta, Gregor's sister, at first she, she's on the side of Gregor. She, you know, um, takes care of him as, as best as she can. The mother is scared, and I mean, anybody would be scared when your son is turned into a cockroach, and the family just tried to deal with it. They try to keep Gregor a secret and keep the fact that he's a cockroach away from everybody, but one by one, the, the people that the family start like renting out to, like their apartment is a pretty big apartment, and they try to rent it out to make money, because when Gregor loses his job, when Gregor turns into a cockroach, he's not the breadwinner anymore. He's not the money maker. So the three parasites, Greta and, and you know, Gregor's mother and father, um, they can't feed off of, of Gregor anymore. So basically, they, they start to think of different ways they can make money and get the family back on their feet. And so they, they have to like get off their butts and start working, start figuring out a way to make money. And one of the things that they do is that they rent out a room to tenants. Now, the thing is, the, the cleaning lady that they have, the, the people to, to take care of the apartment that they have, they eventually all of them get scared of Gregor. Um, because he's a roach and the tenants leave. They don't want to pay because there's a huge roach in the apartment and nobody wants to deal with that. Um, it comes to the point where the family gets tired of Gregor and they get sick of Gregor because now the three of them have to support him and that's just so difficult. When Gregor was supporting them, it wasn't a problem, but when the three of them have to support Gregor, Gregor it's just too much. So by the end of the novel, we see Greta. She's sick of Gregor and she just doesn't want to deal with Gregor anymore. 
Um, she, she's a wonderful individual, but by the end, she just turns on her brother because he's a cockroach. She's a girl that, you know, she's a great musician. Uh, music, you know, she likes, she loves to play music. She, by the end of the novel, her parents actually even say that she needs to get married because she's beautiful. And they say, you know what? She needs to marry someone that's rich, someone that's wealthy so that we can benefit from it. So, um, the society that Gregor and, 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 and his, um, Greta are in it's always about money no matter what you do your parents your your co-workers your boss um, Everybody's always after money even marriage is about money because her parents are just thinking about different ways where She and them can profit off of her being married. So in the end Gregor dies He just curls up into a ball into a roach ball I guess and dies and then they move on with their rest of their lives with the idea that we're the not the narrator basically gives us the idea that you know Greta's gonna get married to somebody that might be rich and the family's going to make it and figure out a way to to fund their expenses. So it's honestly it's a very sad book because Gregor is this individual that worked really hard to provide for his family, to be there for his family, and then when he turns into something that's disgusting, they abandon him and they figure out different ways to make money for themselves. If they helped Gregor out, um, if they helped him to pay the bills, and even if they try to not have so many expensive uh, expenses, Gregor's life wouldn't have been so difficult. Um, they had servants. They had an extremely rich, um, a scream, an extremely wealthy apartment. And if they chose something that's a little bit more affordable and clean the apartment themselves, Gregor wouldn't have to work so hard to provide for them. So they turned Gregor into a bug, basically. And and if you look at it in certain ways, um, the the family is actually the, the real roaches. The, the mother and father and Greta, they're the roaches in the story, if you really think about it. Because they're the ones feeding off of Gregor throughout the novel. They're the ones making... Gregor's life a living hell because he has to work so hard to provide for them. And when he becomes a roach, when he becomes a thing that depends on them, they pretty much turn their backs on him and they figure out a way to survive on their own while he dies. Um, so this novel is very significant and it tells you a lot about money and the culture that we live in. Um, in, in terms of a deeper meaning, in terms of like what this um, novel means, you can see that um, Money is just a driver for so many individuals um, within the world and even within the novel because um, Gregor's boss is all about money. The, the Greta is all about money. The mother and father are all about money. Um, it's pretty much losing money and gaining money. And if you don't have that, basically, they're not satisfied. Um, so when Gregor was starting to get in their way of them and making wealth, um, they didn't want to be associated with him anymore. Um, so... You know, this novel kind of shows you the evil that can exist with wealth um, because it can make you um, lonely because Gregor Edding of the novel, as a roach, he's lonely. No one loves him. Everybody thinks he's a freak. Everybody thinks he's a monster. And he basically dies alone with no love. And that's all because of the power and um, the power that money had in his life and on his family members because that's... That's what he was worth. It was only he was a money machine. And the minute that he couldn't provide them with money, um, he was worthless. So that's my summary analysis of the Metamorphosis. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.